Right now to the aftermath of Hurricane Ian, a storm officials are now calling the country's 25th deadliest hurricane ever. Its placement could change as the death toll grows. And you're looking at drone footage taken today of Fort Myers. Ian, clearly not only one of the deadliest, but also one of the costliest hurricanes on record. And tonight, the death toll is up to 100 people in Florida, and the search for bodies is not over. Crews in Florida are going door to door searching for survivors, while others are scouring the destruction with cadaver dogs. CBS 4's Ted Scouten is in the region and filed this report. Search and rescue operations are continuing nearly a week after Hurricane Ian ripped across Florida. Emergency teams with cadaver dogs have checked thousands of homes and rescued more than 2,300 residents. There's massive destruction, wood pilings that we can't actually see under, and there are voids sometimes under there. Officials say they are making progress restoring power, but it will be weeks before the job is done. Every single minute, every hour, every day, things are flowing much better. The debris is being piled high here in Fort Myers, like you see right here. A lot of times people coming back to their homes to find there's not much left to salvage. The floors are, are ruined, the walls are down, the ceilings have all dropped down, the water level is above the roof. This is everything we could salvage, this is our lives. The only road to nearby Pine Island was washed out. Can we jump on yours? Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Residents who stayed through Ian are just getting back to the mainland, catching rides with the Coast Guard or kind strangers. How grateful were you to get on that boat? Wonderful. Renee Swanson regrets her decision to ride out the storm. It's going to meet family members there. Sat in the bathroom for four hours, a little bathroom in the condo because the wind was... The window broke, the doors broke out, and we had a constant flow of rain, glass, and shingles in my condo. President Biden visits Florida Wednesday to meet with local officials, families, and first responders. Ted Scouten, CBS 4 News Tonight. If you want to help out, consider Neighbors for Neighbors, which, as you might know, was founded after Hurricane Andrew. Neighbors has teamed up with Global Empowerment Mission. Text Hurricane Ian to 41444 or visit neighborsforneighbors.org slash Hurricane Ian. 